What's your favorite genre? Based on these promo pictures, what do you think is the main genre of this animated series? I think Link Link gives the impression of an action series with cool looking guys that go through some adventure in each episode. Well, it's somewhat correct, but Link Link is more than that. Link Link is a mix of various genres, and your favorite genre will most likely be among them. So, let's try to go through some of those genres. The main characters of Link Link have supernatural powers related to time, and their abilities can be triggered through a photograph. This guy can go back to the time of when the photo was taken and possess its photographer. While his partner could see everything that happened to the people in the photo during the 12 hours after the picture was taken. With such cool superpowers, they're somewhat like superheroes, right? Well, their powers had indeed helped save people and fight against villains, which leads us to the next genre. Most action series feature an overpowered protagonist that can defeat others effortlessly. Link Link also has such a character, but not among its main characters. He's not even young anymore, but this elderly martial arts master is the most badass character in the show. But that doesn't mean that the main characters are weak, alright? They are no professional fighters, but they are strong and talented enough to defend themselves, even if they get hit occasionally. The action scenes look even cooler if they fight along with supernatural powers. And I'm really glad that the women in this show are no mere damsels in distress. They can fight side by side with the men in battle, and some of them could even be more dangerous than they appear. When there are female characters in a series, usually their role is just a romantic interest. But the main characters of Link Link are not involved in any romantic relationship. Well, none that is confirmed at least. But although the show isn't romance-centric, it's not lacking in love stories. Actually, the love stories in the show are written better than many other romance anime out there. Well, in my humble opinion, there's a variety on the kinds of romances in this series too. We've got a childhood love, a love that's against all odds, a tragic love, and so on. There's definitely bromance between the main duo though, and I've got so many things to say about their relationship but if I do that, I might not be able to finish this video. <laughs> so I'll save that in another video and you'll be notified once it's released if you're subscribed to the channel. <laughs> The main characters of the series are like polar opposites of one another, but a certain sport is their common interest, which is basketball. It's so exciting to watch the characters play, and in just a single basketball game, the series had already managed to demonstrate the power of true teamwork and the passion for the sport, both in a serious and in a goofy way. The main character of the series even used basketball as an analogy to show how much he trusts his partner. There's actually another sport that we can somehow associate to the series, and it's diving. The term diving back in time is used on time-traveling activities in the series. Although the main character is not dependent to his partner for activating his powers, they normally work together so that his partner can guide him in the whole mission. And this makes their procedure very similar to scuba diving, where there's also a body system. I find it fascinating when real-world concepts are being applied to or are used as basis on fictional elements. Since the show utilizes the concept of time traveling, it can be categorized under the science fiction genre. 
It featured some other time-related concepts like time loops and reversals. There are even hints of alternate timelines or universes too. So fellow geeks who love formulating theories on that kind of stuff will have so much fun in discussing about the series. Unlike most time travel series though, the main characters try their best not to make changes to the past. The butterfly effect caused by such changes may result to dangerous consequences to the present time period. I find that perspective and take on time traveling pretty intriguing. With that, even superhumans can't cross the line or play God. Since the series involves travels to the past, it's natural for it to feature some historical references. This arc is based on an actual earthquake in China, which happened many years ago in the real world. That episode was a tribute to those affected by that very tragic event. In addition, the scenes from the second season's ending theme had been showing hints that it can feature a historical period which is outside their home country. It has been mentioned that the main duo had gone overseas, and based on the mansion in this scene, it's most likely set somewhere in the West. There's a lot of mystery about the main character's backgrounds. This guy is the most mysterious one of all. Although the other characters had mentioned that he's the youngest among the main trio, his official profile data keeps on hiding his age. So suspicious. Anyway, these mysterious guys actually run something like a detective agency. They help their clients gather information or relay messages. They can even assist in looking for something or someone. Occasionally, they also get involved in criminal cases and work with cops. So yeah, they really are pretty much like detectives. But they're detectives that solve cases using time. Actually, the original title of the show is Shirkwang Tailiren, which literally means time agents. That fits their job description better, right? But I have no idea why they marketed its official English title with such a tongue twister. But oh well. Anyway, unlike other detective shows, it's not completely the episodic type. The cases are not isolated from the main plot. And they're actually surprisingly more connected to one another than any of us could have expected. Link Click is the type of series that keeps you at the edge of your seat, then shocks you with many twists and turns. After building up tension and making its audience incredibly anxious, it will even leave a cliffhanger. And that happens in almost every single episode. Oh, the suspense is quite a torture, especially if you watch the series in a weekly basis. <laughs> this show makes you worried about the characters. Even the main characters are not immune from the danger, so it hurts even more when you have started to care for them. It's quite easy to care for the characters since they're so charming and entertaining. The main character usually serves for comic relief. He acts childish and his partner even scolds him as if he were a kid. Although he's usually the one being teased, he's also the type who teases others. But even characters who appear serious can have their silly moments too. With that, all characters in the series can be funny in their own way. And the fun moments in the show can be a breather from the very intense events that had happened. Although the series may make you cry tears of joy, it does a much better job in making you cry tears of sorrow. Yeah, this show is a merciless tearjerker. Link Click gives so much emotional impact to its audiences that if I have to pick which genre this show excels at, it's definitely drama. And despite the show's fictional elements, it's actually very relatable. It presented the different realistic struggles of a child, of a parent, of a lover, of a friend, and so on. 
it also leaves valuable lessons that makes its audience reflect on their own family, of their relationships, and of themselves. It would have been even more impactful if you understood or can relate to the cultural references behind the series. So, in a nutshell, I see Link Click as a thought-provoking psychological thriller that blends together various genres so brilliantly. It can appear like a relaxed or silly slice-of-life show at one point, but things can get serious and nerve-wracking later. And despite the fictional elements, Link Click feels so real. It also makes you feel a lot of emotions. Seriously, the many genres that Link Click covers should be able to entertain different types of audiences. So I hope this video had encouraged you to give it a try at least. Besides, the music in this series is so catchy and the animation overall is really phenomenal. A lot of people are saying that this show is very underrated and they are right. I don't understand how something this incredible is not getting the popularity it deserves. By the way, you might not be able to see Link Click among the top 10 anime listings. But it's not because it's terrible, okay? It's more of because it's technically not an anime in the first place. Anime generally refers to shows that are from Japan while Link Click originated from China. So it's technically considered a Tonghua or Donghua. Of course, if this video has benefited you in some way, please click the like button to motivate me to create more videos like this. Anyway, once you've become a fan or if you are already a fan of the show, I would appreciate it if you share what you love about Link Click in the comments. Hope to see you in the next video. Thanks and take care!